What's up everyone, we're back at it again. My name is Brad and welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanna do is I wanna give you a week six update on what all of my ficuses look like post job. So without further ado, let's get to it. Another beautiful and sunny day to do a week six update of all of my ficuses. So first, let's start off with the ficus burgundy. The ficus burgundy is looking absolutely beautiful this week. The leaves are becoming nice and big and as you can see, they're getting to the ideal size of a bit bigger than my hand. All of my branches are also active, which I absolutely love. I'm going to attribute to all of my branches remaining active to the immense amount of sun that it's getting, that bright direct sunlight, as well as the frequency in which I'm watering. So I'm watering roughly once a week. And also every time I'm watering, I'm also giving it that double dose of fertilizer. That is how I maximize the number of branches and continuing to sustain the branch growth so my ficus burgundy looks absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to see what it looks like week seven here is my ficus elastica robusta and this too is one of my favorite ficuses just like all of my other other ficuses because of the fact that it readily branches so the branching pattern here is doing absolutely wonderful in that all of these branches that you see here they could have happened without me deciding to top it off but i did it anyway and just i mean just look how at how big these leaves are getting i mean take this leaf right here it's getting absolutely huge and it hasn't even fully hardened off yet so that is great to see now i said this before but one of the reasons why I love when these trees have the beautiful branching pattern is because you'll find leaves that are in, that are in different stages of unfurling. So for instance, take this leaf here that has started to shed off its sheath. And then we have this other leaf here that is about to burst out of its sheath. Another one here. I mean, th this ficus elastic robusta is doing great and it also grows fast and vigorously. Just like with the robusta, it's getting that bright direct sunlight and also being fed a double dose of fertil fertilizer with every watering. My ficus elastic taniki is also doing pretty well. I'm a bit disappointed with some of the leaf damage that's happened here. And I'm gonna say that this is probably because of the fact that there was a little bit of help in trying to get this leaf to come out of its sheath and that damage, as you can see, just persisted. So we're gonna be careful of doing not doing that in the future. Uh, and we're also going to continue to monitor just the overall health, but just, at, just, just appreciate how great the Spicus Elastic Kataniki is starting to look. I mean, the, the branching pattern is great in that we have multiple branches that are actively pushing out growth. Now, this, similar to the Robusta and similar to the Burgundy, is also getting that bright, direct sunlight being fed every watering. And the growth is just continuing to really show off. I'm a fan. I am a fan, I am a fan. Moving to this side, we have the Ficus Audrey's. So Ficus Audrey 1, Ficus Audrey 2. Ficus Audrey 2 is one of those ficuses that I decided to repot because it was very root bound. And I wanted to, at the time, show off the fact that a root bound plant is not a happy plant. So I gave it a new pot. And since giving it a new pot, it's starting to put on some growth right there that is a new leaf that has popped since giving it a repot over here with my ficus audrey number one it is just doing absolutely well the leaves are continuing just to grow to grow to grow and just like my ficus robusta back there this also readily branches so you can see i have the apical growth that has maintained so no pinching nothing like that I did not have to notch, and I still have all of these branches that have just started to pop off on the ficus audrey. So this is a great tree. Again, bright direct sunlight, being fed twice the amount of fertilizer every single watering, and 
look how great it's looking. The leaves are that nice dark green color, no yellowing, no burning. It, it just loves being outside. If you want to see more videos like this about houseplant tips and tricks, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and it would mean a lot. Thank you so much. Now back to the week six update. Now we have the fiddle leaf figs. Fiddle leaf fig number two, fiddle leaf fig number one. The fiddle leaf fig number one looking great. The leaves are starting to become nice and large. These leaves are still a bit immature because they are very flimsy. And they're also this in between of a lime green and a dark green color, which is when you know that they've reached full maturity. So these leaves probably have a little bit more growing to do. And these red, reddish brown spots here, I'm not worried about, this is edema. And when you keep your tree outside and exposing it to the elements and just having it rain when it wants to rain, you really can't necessarily control for that uh, because that's caused by uneven watering. The elements are getting to the fiddle leaf fig it happens but as the leaf matures these spots are essentially or they're going to become virtually invisible so fiddle leaf fig number one is looking great with all of the branch branching patterns let's see it doesn't look like we have any new leaves that are about to pop but that's okay because i am sure that they are in development now, when we go over to fiddle leaf fig number two, again, this is a little bit taller than fiddle leaf fig number one back there, but you can see that I do have swelling of the buds. So swelling of the bud on this particular branch and swelling on the bud on this branch here, which has actually led to a new leaf. It's probably about two leaves under there actually. And there are probably about two leaves underneath here as well. Then going further down, we have this branch, which has also swollen up. I'm yet to figure out, I don't know if I should keep this or not. What do you guys think? Should I keep this branch or should I just keep with the more traditional tree-like form of the fiddle leaf fig and remove this branch down here? Because I also have two branches, as you can see, have a leaf forming. Leaf forming here so yeah should I get rid of this branch or should I keep it and then up here we also have some branches that haven't really pushed out any growth I'm hoping that as the season goes these will become active and begin to push out growth for me but fiddle leaf fig number two looks great ficus moonshine I've had it for about a week and like I said once I get used to how to care for it. I'm going to make a care video of how to care for the ficus moonshine. I do see a leaf that is potentially trying to erupt from the sheath and once I get one or two more leaves that's when I know that I have my handle on this or have a handle on this and I'll make a video. But ficus moonshine, I've had it for a week and it is doing just fine. I really love this marble like appearance of the ficus moonshine. It kind of reminds me of a ficus taniki, but with more of a, a green, light green type look to it. So I'm curious to see whether or not when giving it a lot of sun, it's gonna keep with this pink color, kind of similar to a ficus taniki ruby, or if it's gonna be kind of like these more mature by mature, I mean older leaves at the bottom that have lost that pinkish tint. So anyway, ficus moonshine. I love this. It's it's really going to be cool, especially as the leaves get bigger and we start seeing the more painting on the surface of the leaves. Last but not least, the ficus altissima yellow gem. Now I will say this one has probably impressed me the most because it hasn't been that long since I've topped it off when I gave it the big chop, but already just look at the amount of growth that it's put on. I mean, all of these buds are active right now and I'm expecting to have active growth on each bud. Let me switch over here. And by active growth, I mean everything is just going to continue to push out new growth. Nothing is gonna stop. 
and it is going to look absolutely beautiful. So about a week ago, when I first did this, these buds down here, or up here, were about this size. But again, just look at how much growth it's put. Now, I'm hoping that within the next few weeks, I am just gonna get a beautiful flush of leaves because I would love for you to see what the yellow gem leaves look like when given that bright sunlight because the variegation pattern on it is like nothing that I can try to describe other than to say that it is a beautiful mixture of the deepest of greens and the lightest of yellows mixed all into one leaf. So I'm excited for this one. So this is my Ficus Altissima Yellow Gem. So that's the week six update of what my ficuses look like post Big Chop. All in all, I'll say I'm pretty happy with what things look like six weeks after. I didn't expect this amount of branching, but I did expect a lot of branching. I'm really happy with the vigorous growth that all of my trees have put on, and I hope that it continues to progress as the season continues to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. With that, my name is Brad, and I'll see you next week when I give you the week seven update of what all of my ficuses look like post Big Chop. Thank you again for watching.